I'm standing on the great steps of Christ's Seventh-day Adventist Church, a steps that many feet will trot on a Sabbath, on a Sunday, on a Wednesday, Thursday. My church is open every day of the week except on a Friday. This church, which is sitting close to Crystal Palace football ground, and very close, just about literally one minute walk from Sellers Station. It's a church that has over six to seven hundred people coming into church on a Sabbath morning. Croydon Church is involved in innovative and creative ministry. They have a massive food bank where over 300 families are fed on a, on a, week, on a weekly basis. They have a vibrant teens ministry, a very, very expansive children's ministry. Croydon Church is involved in ministry every single day of the week. And right now, Croydon Church has started an innovative program, caring for minds and other mental health individuals within the community. And because of the creativity within Croydon Church, ministry is growing from strength to strength. Today, I have with me a young man. Well, he's the head of the prison ministry in the church. And he has been inspired by God to start a ministry, seeing the needs of the people in the community. Well, let him explain to you what it's about. I'm going to call, I call him Justice. They call him Elder O'Neill Henry. Elder Henry, come in and join me on this very famous step. Arthur, please, to meet you. Nice to see you, Elder Henry. Right to be here. Yes, tell us about your ministry. The ministry that we have is Lighthouse TV, PP and T. Prayers, praise and testimony. And it is a ministry that has been inspired by God to actually start to spread the good news of salvation. Uh, every morning we have a morning devotional. We have prayer at different times uh, in the week, as well as we have testimony sections where people can talk about the goodness of God so that others can be encouraged by the testimonies that have been given. So tell me, you, you, you said that we have are talking about we had a pre talk didn't we? Yeah. and you were telling me about the people who are the people that you get and what inspired you to get the stories of these individuals within the church well we have people from all cross section of life we have people from within the church as well as we have people who are just curious and pop on who have a belief in god as well as those who are searching for a faith but in general um in terms of the testimonies um when we we, we think that when people pass on and sometimes we are scratching around trying to find out what these people believe and what their life journey has been like. But now, based on the innovation that Christ has given me about Lighthouse TV, we are collating those testimonies and we are putting them in one place where people can talk about their personal stories, their life journeys with God, so that it can encourage others who in their faith as they walk with God. So, in other words, you're looking at senior members and, 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 and younger folks who have had significant experience with God. Or, or, or is it just any anyone? Anybody is welcome. Some of the stories that we have had or some of the personal stories that we have had have come from small, young, old, and older people, pensioners have, have, re have related to us the different stories that they have had. And these stories have also been inspiring and encouraging um, to others who have listened on. I've had people calling me from different places say, Brother Henry, I have a story that I need to tell. Bring Lighthouse TV here so that I can share my story and encourage other people in their faith journey. So light, Lighthouse PP TV. Come on, Father. Lighthouse PP and T TV. Lighthouse <laughs> and TV and, and T TV. Prayer, praise, and testimony. <laughs> right. So, so, so Lighthouse PP and T TV is moving around Croydon and beyond Croydon, capturing the stories of faith telling people as to the power of Christ and how Christ has changed their lives. So far, I mean, Justice, um, Elder Henry, how has the impact been 
the impact has been phenomenal so far. It has been inspirational in terms of the feedback that we are getting from different individuals who have actually tuned in and who have also been the benefactor of the rich spiritual experiences that can be found on Lighthouse TV. If you haven't logged on to Lighthouse TV, you do not know what you're missing. Each morning when you get up, Lighthouse TV is there ready with a word of inspiration to get you on your day. Have I sold it well past? <laughs> I, I, I think, I think it, is, it is so well that I've, I'm, I'm really, really inspired and motivated. So, 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 so honey, how can, how can people um, participate in Lighthouse TV? People can participate by getting in contact. I think in the description of this video, I'll give you the link so that they can contact us on Facebook as well as my personal number. We have a WhatsApp group that we have running. So if you're interested in Lighthouse TV, come on over and take a look and see what God is doing here in Croydon on Lighthouse TV. It is a ministry that is built on the Word of God, the undiluted Word of God. It is here for encouragement, to strengthen, and to inspire. Thank you, Elder. Reaching up, reaching out, and making a difference. <laughs> there, there, there you go, Lighthouse TV. Live and direct, right into your house. God inspired Oni Lennery to start this ministry. Can I have a prayer with you? Please, Let's Pastor. Let's have a prayer. Father, we, we thank you for Lighthouse TV. We thank you for inspiring Elder Henry. We, we ask that those who are looking on, those who those who have stories, stories of inspiration, stories of change, may those stories impact people in a positive way. May those be change. It may be brought to the foot of the cross and, and keep Elder Henry and his team safe and strong. Light on TV, may the light of Christ shine in their soul. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.